Hi, my name's Laura. I would like to share with you a little bit about my experience with a total hip replacement. Just in case maybe you are expecting to go have the procedure or maybe you have a family member that's anticipating a hip surgery in their near future. I went to my primary care doctor when I began to have hip and back pain. They, they we did an x-ray, I did a little um, course of oral steroids that did help temporarily, and I started physical therapy. I was referred to the orthopedic doctor who thought the problem was my back. The back doctor did an MRI of my spine and said my back was okay. Uh, meanwhile, my um, hip pain began to worsen and I did ultimately go back to ortho and I had the hip replacement. Here you'll see my incision at 10 days post-op after the dry dressing was removed. I did have an anterior approach so you'll see the incision just anterior to the trochanter. It was glued. And there's a little bit of bruising there to the posterior aspect. And then here it is now at 12 weeks post-op, looking really nice. I do expect it to lighten up over, you know, the next several months to a year. I, I massage it and I put um, some cocoa butter on it with vitamin E. I had a therapist come to the house for about two weeks. She showed me how to safely go up and down the steps and walk outside. I used the walker for about two weeks till I felt steady on my feet and then I transitioned to the cane. I used the cane, gosh, until about six weeks and when I felt good enough, I just kind of carried it with me just in case I got tired. But you can see there, you know, by about six weeks, I was um, buzzing around walking without a limp. Another big milestone for me was being able to drive again. I did wait until about six weeks when I felt comfortable driving, when I was off of the pain medication and everything. My operative leg was my left. So, you know, with driving, you use your right leg if my car is automatic. So I was good with that. It was kind of awkward getting into the car for the first time. I, I did forget how to start it, but everything, you know, came back pretty quickly and I did have one quick tip that I would like to share getting in and out of the car what I did was I, I put a slippery a trash bag on the seat uh, to get in and I sat my bottom down and I was able to swivel my hips in together to you know so I wasn't breaking those hip precautions till about I don't know six to nine weeks is probably when I I did that and I'm able to get into the car, you know, regularly now like I like I used to. So, it's all good. Here I am, back to doing yoga. I guess I started probably about 6 weeks after surgery and it was very different. I was very careful about what I did. I'm here in a cross-legged seat and you can see my operative leg there sticking sticking straight up it's seven weeks and you can see there it started to relax and externally rotate more there towards that 12 week mark still not quite comfortable but it's just proof that things do take time and you will get there and be able to reach your goals um to where you were you know before surgery. I did go outpatient for therapy until about 12 weeks to help keep that, you know, get my flexibility back and strengthen my muscles. I, I didn't realize how weak I was until I started to um, return to my um, exercise routine. I hope you enjoyed. I have a couple more tips and tricks just to share with you if you're anticipating a hip surgery.
The first one is make sure you're eating a good healthy diet with plenty of fruits and vegetables. Maybe boost your protein up a little bit before surgery. Drink lots of water. And if you have any prehab exercises, make sure you're doing those. And just know that um, there may be a lot of equipment that's recommended for you to get. Make sure you know that you don't have to spend a lot of money. I have one exercise that I use five pound weights for, and I'm just using this uh, milk jug. I filled it up halfway with water and that's five pounds. So that's one thing you can do. Another thing is your therapist will tell you ice is your friend. So you'll wanna have probably two ice packs on hand for when one melts, you'll have a backup. And I made my own ice pack. I like this one better than the one that I bought. So it is made with water and rubbing alcohol. This will mold your body, it's super comfortable. And I will link the recipe in the description below. I think that's, I think that's everything. If you have any comments, be sure to comment below. Um, subscribe to my channel. I also have yoga classes if and ready you're, if and when you're ready and would like to try some um, yoga classes. Those are on YouTube for free and I do live classes on Insight Timer as well and I'll link those um, in the description below. Just remember to always, the best thing you can do is listen to your body. Take care and good luck.